Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the Drug Inquiry Committee. In 1927, one resolution was passed by the Council of States to the Government General in Council. The resolution was passed to take the immediate actions to control use of drugs, legislate to standardize preparation as well as for the sales of the drugs. And because of this, in 1928, a committee was appointed and the name given to that committee was Drug Inquiry Committee. In 1930, chairmanship of this committee, that is Drug Inquiry Committee, was given to the Colonel Ramanath N. Chopra or sometimes he is also called as a Colonel R. N. Chopra and because of which this committee is also known as Chopra Committee. This committee after the survey, prepared his report and published it in 1931. And in this report, this committee has given various recommendations which are related to the legislation of the drugs. Main recommendations of this Chopra committee were there should be a central law to control drug and pharmacy profession. They also recommended development of central pharmacy council as well as provincial means state pharmacy council development. They also recommend to establish testing labs in all the states so the quality of drugs and pharmaceuticals can be controlled. They suggested that the central lab will specially control the quality of imported drugs. They even added in the suggestion that this laboratory should be equipped with competent staff Furthermore, this committee also suggested to establish an advisory board to advise the government in making the rules and due to which later on a drug technical advisory board was formulated. This committee report also says that the government should provide the courses for training to the pharmacist and prescribe the minimum qualification for the registration as a pharmacist. They further recommend that every medicine manufactured in India or imported in India should be registered. Other recommendations were like development of drug industry in India, compilation of Indian pharmacopoeia, etc. So they all recommend to reduce the manufacturing in medical store depots as well. Moreover, crude single drugs and compound medicines used in indigenous system of treatment should be brought under the control. They also recommend that the Sinkona department should cultivate the Sinkona. So these were the main recommendations of this drug inquiry committee. These recommendations were mostly taken into consideration by the government and due to which today whatever the rules and regulations we are having in India because of the same recommendation of drug inquiry committee. Thank you.